9 a.m. on Fridays is a relief for the residents of Osaka Detention Center's death row. As if you survive past this time, it generally means you have another week to live. In Japan, once you're on death row, you are not informed of the time or date of your execution until they come to take you to the gallows. However, most inmates have come to understand that most executions are done early on a Friday morning. Meaning if you are still in your cell at 9am on a Friday, you likely have another week of life. One of the inmates watching the clock is 60-year-old mother of four and convicted mass murderer Masumi Hayashi. To find out how she ended up in this predicament, we need to go back to the summer of 1998 and to Sonobe in Wakayama, an area just beneath Osaka. Summer in Japan is a time of festivals and community, with the Matsuri or summer festival being the equivalent of a county fair or village fete in the West. The chance every year for the community to get together for a song and a dance, good food, and often more than a few drinks. The summer festival in Sonobe had been going on for several years, held at the same time each summer. Every year, invitations and coupons for food and drink would be sent to your local residents. Coupons featuring the seal of Takatoshi Takenaka, 64, chairman of the Residents' Association. One such resident was the then 37-year-old Masumi Hayashi. Masumi Hayashi lived in one of the largest houses in the neighbourhood with her husband Kenji and their small children. While not palatial by Western standards, in Japan, where it is far more normal not to have a garden at all, their walled villa with landscaped gardens stood out as opulent, as did their BMW motor car in a town more familiar with small Nissans. They were not, however, well thought of in the village. They held themselves as aloof, speeding their BMW through the narrow streets of Sonobe, honking their horn at other residents. They didn't let their children play with local children. And they held loud gambling parties, playing mahjong on their rooftop. And Masumi was even said to throw her garbage directly into the nearby river. In a culture where conformity is paramount, they did very little to fit into their community. Despite these differences, Masumi had agreed to play a role in the upcoming Matsuri festival that summer, helping to prepare the food. Matsuris in Japan are famous and well-loved for the culinary delights on offer, ranging from takoyaki octopus balls to yaki soba, oden, and the ub ubiquitous curry rice which is kind of like katsu curry with no katsu. And so the day came of the Matsuri. Much enjoyment was had, eating, drinking and making merry. That is, until people went home. Chairman Taninaka collapsed on his bed Many of the other guests began violently vomiting and displaying symptoms of serious poisoning. Such were the amount of emergency calls. The doctors at the local hospital dispatched ambulances in tandem to the scene, ferrying the sick to hospital and returning to collect more. What doctors initially thought was a case of mass food poisoning quickly turned to a diagnosis of cyanide poisoning. Within a few hours, Chairman Taninaka, along with the deputy village leader and two local children, 
one girl of 16 and a boy of 10 were dead. Another 70 were in hospital. A criminal investigation was swiftly launched and arsenic was found to be the poisoning agent sprinkled into the curry by a killer seemingly determined to inflict mass casualties on this quiet small community. Police and Japanese media descended on the town, turning over every stone, speaking to everyone and looking everywhere for clues. Rumours were rife and fingers started to be pointed at the couple in the large house. And so police began to look at this couple more closely. How this couple, a retired pest exterminator and an insurance saleswoman, could live in such luxury. And it quickly became evident that there were indeed darker truths lurking behind their tall walls. Police discovered insurance claims totaling 160 million yen, around 1.3 million dollars, that had been made by the Hayashis over various spurious accidents. They also found occasions where acquaintances of the family, and even Mr Hayashi himself, had become seriously ill, with symptoms very similar to acute poisoning. It was noted that they all had sizable insurance policies either recently taken out or sold to them by Mrs. Hayashi. Police wasted no time in searching the house. On doing so, they discovered the tools of Mr. Hayashi's previous career as a pest exterminator, along with the poisons used in the trade, most particularly arsenic. By this time, the whole country became aware of the police's suspicions and the press besieged their home. Their house was vandalized also with slogans of die and killer drawn across their walls. Despite a lack of motive as to why Masumi would want to potentially kill the entire town or any witnesses to see her actually poisoning the curry, her role in preparing the curry, which she ate none of herself, as well as cited suspicious behaviour on the day along with the previous poisonings and access to arsenic, were enough circumstantial evidence to convict her of murder and convict her husband of insurance fraud. In court, Masumi protested her innocence, claiming the evidence was entirely circumstantial. But even so, in 2002, she was sentenced to death by hanging by Wakayama District Court. Over the last 20 years, she's appealed numerous times and continues to protest her innocence. All so far have been denied. And there is a further tragic twist to the tale. On June the 9th, 2021, a 37-year-old woman called emergency services, saying her daughter had collapsed and was bleeding. When the ambulance and police arrived, they found the injured girl and rushed her to hospital, where she was pronounced dead from blunt force injuries to the abdomen. The woman who had made the call was found dead later that day, having jumped from a bridge near Kansai Airport, along with her four-year-old daughter, who was in her arms when she jumped. This woman 
was the daughter of Masumi Hayashi and the girls Masumi's granddaughters. At 37 years old, Masumi Hayashi's daughter died at the same age Masumi was at the time of the poisonings. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next Japan's Most Wanted.